Well, there's a restaurant that's been a staple in Midtown for more than a decade. It's been a safe space for the LGBTQ plus community, and it's shutting down after 10 years. It's an unexpected announcement that's coming right in the middle of the holidays, and the owner says she couldn't negotiate with the landlord with rent skyrocketing in this area. Teresa Bull shows us how much this place means to the people who love it. A lot of tears, hugs, and thank yous today, with customers telling me Henry's isn't just an affordable restaurant, but an inclusive place for diverse people and their furry friends, too. While preparing for opening, Henry's in Midtown is also preparing for a close. At the time that we opened Henry's, there, there were other gay establishments in the area, but nothing quite like what Henry's does, which is kind of draws people together. People from all races, sexual identities, and walks of life, even the ones that walk with paws instead of feet. Dogs teach us to be better people. That's what birthed Henry's. The restaurant is named after Maureen Kalmanson's dog. However, Henry's dog days are coming, as Kalmanson announced the restaurant is shutting down in two weeks due to failed negotiations with her landlord. I think it changes the, the environment when things become so expensive. Smaller companies just, I think, will disappear in these kinds of environments. It's no secret the price of rent is reaching new heights in Midtown. Kalmanson is joining a plethora of businesses that can't keep up. Still, the welcoming environment will always hold a place in her customers' hearts. It was really sad. I don't know where we're going to go after work. This place was just so perfect. Rachel Robinson works across the street. She says 10th Street won't be the same. There's such a diverse crowd that comes here. It means a lot to Midtown. It's, it's really a cornerstone of this area. So much of a cornerstone, supporters on social media offer to protest, to take a stand against the landlord. But Kalmanson doesn't want that. I would like us to get together and celebrate. I don't think the fight would be worthwhile. <laughs> All she wants is for whoever takes over next to continue the legacy. I'm really sad that Henry's is going to go away. I'm not sure what will replace this, but uh, I hope it's somebody that in embraces this community for what it is. In Midtown, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News.